So, race 17 is the Mike Westy Maiden. It's a chase over two and a half miles. And here are the runners. So, number one, Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers. MC Hammer for Paul Rhodes. Can't touch this. Mackenzie Castle for Jim Murray. Mutley for Stu Gray. The Ice King for Leon Van Rensburg. Abelino for John Morgan. Charmed Point for Darren Thompson. Glory B Drama for Davy Ladd. Magic Girl for D. Hooley. Market Tavern for Pontypool Racing. Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerrard. The Long Pools for Joshua Sutherland. He's been rather bullish about this. Top Shelf for Craig Beckwith. And Wild Neat for Hems makes up 14. With two and a half miles. The rain's coming down. The start has got him away. Let's see how we fare. Avellino, great, just nosing in front as he gets the first one. They went straight through the top of that, the grey horse, the Ice King. Also supposedly a front runner for Leon Van Renberg's William the Conqueror. Let's see if we can get some ratings, look out for that one. And it's Heathcote Monarch, Avellino, and the Ice King that lead us over that. We just followed through by Mackenzie Castle. Paul's on the inside of him. Why is Paul Rogers MC Hammer? Inside of that is Top Shelf. Towards the fence, we've got Glory B Drama. Uh, closer still with Charred Point. Mark Mutley out wide. And the three just at the rear Wild Neat Magic Girl and Market Tavern. But it's Heathcote Monarch that leads us. The next, they're all over that. A really poor jump there, I think, by Ozark Slipper. Between Chand Point and Wild Neat. As they go past the winning post with the circuit to go, it's Heathcote Monarch and Abilene that they'll lead us by a length and a half back to Ice King, the pace setter. Legs back to Long Pauls, Mackenzie Castle, back to Glory B Drama, Magic Girl, who's Aunt Slipper, they go over the water, who takes that well. And still is Heathcote Monarch and Abilene. Two lengths to the Ice King. Further back to Long Pools and Mackenzie Castle. Leaders all over it. The sticky jump towards the rear by Market Tavern, a little bit slow over it. Round Clutterbuck. Still with a mile and a half to go and eight fences to jump. It's Heathcote, Monarch, and Abilina. A length and a half, length and a half to the Ice King. About three back to Mackenzie Castle. The leaders are over it. It's a small ditch. The negotiates it well. And it's as you were at the front. Drifting into a couple of packs now, so you've got Heathcote, Monarch, Abilene and the Ice King together, and a couple of lengths back to the Long Pools, Glory B, Drama and Mackenzie Castle. Good jump there by Ozark Slipper. On the inside of him is Charmed Point. Another length back to Magic Girl. MC Hammer's still there, top shelf. Wild Neat, Mutley and Market to have him bring up the rear. So it's still the same three at the front. Down to a mile left to travel. It's Avellino and Heathcote Monarch. The Ice King. Followed through by the long pause McKenzie Castle. Glory B Drama slightly on the outside. Ozark Slipper up against the fence. And followed through by Chan Point. MC Hammer being pushed along a little bit. Nowhere to go is Wild Neat. I found a little gap now. Magic Girl as they go over that plane one the ninth. Really poor jump there by Glory B Drama. Shuffle right back into the rear of the pack. So up front is Heathcote Monarch. Avellino. And then half back to that Ice King. Being joined by the Long Pools now. Poor jump there by Mackenzie Castle. Was slow over it. But up front inside the six now. It's Avellino being pushed along. Heathcote Monarch hasn't asked anything. The one that's moved up well is the Long Pools. The Ice King's still there but a bit blocked him. Running on well on the outside is Ozark Slipper. They'll go to the 11th. Better jumps. But it is still Avellino and the Long Pools. These two are neck and neck. Moving well out of the pack now is Mackenzie Castle to throw down a challenge. Ozark Slipper and Heathcote Monarch are under a little bit of pressure. But up front is still Avellino. The Long Pools starts to take it up inside the final half mile. Gets over it well. Avellino is a little bit better on the inside. Here comes Ozark Slipper. Wide, wide is wild, neat, running on well as well as MC Hammer, but it's Avellino and the Long Pools, and it's Long Pools that notices in front now. It's going to be challenged by the wild, neat on the outside, Avellino on the inside, they'll get over it well, wild, neat's a little bit slow, so two and a half furlongs to go, it's the Long Pools, Avellino on the inside. 
wild neat on the outside the rest have got a little bit to, to catch these two inside the final two and it's still the long pause they go over he's over it slowly and the Avelino and wild neat jumped it better so it's Avelino on the inside wild neat slowing up and it's Avelino that takes it up long pause is trying to fight back but Avelino inside the final half prefer long next Avelino they get to the last a poor jump by Avelino has allowed the long pause to take it up running on well is McKenzie Castle but the long pause is going to take this not much of a run in here and it's the long pause being chased down by McKenzie Castle but they're not going to catch him the long pause takes it we also lost Mutley in that race which was my horse I don't know where he fell he fall at the last probably but it is a uh, a win for the long pause very bullish in the comments was Josh Sutherland about that one and uh, follows it up with a win from Mackenzie Castle who got up for second for Jim Murray Avelino our long time leader for John Morgan was third Glory B Drama for David Robertson got up for fourth and Wild Neat for Hems ended up in fifth after a poor last jump.